And new tonight, inflation rates are soaring to new heights. According to the U.S. Labor Department, inflation is the highest it's been in 40 years, rising 8.5% from 2021. Now, there are various factors for this high rate of inflation. Yeah, you can blame everything from supply chain issues to the pandemic, even the war in Ukraine. 12 News reporter James Grant joins us live tonight to explain why prices have skyrocketed so fast and whether there's any relief in sight. James. Leticia Jordan, one Lamar professor I spoke to, says inflation is the highest he's seen since he was in college. But he says right now it's even worse. This is all peaking at the same time. Just I've never seen anything like this. Dr. John McCullough with Lamar University says a variety of factors have caused the surge in inflation. The lockdown, the supply chain bottleneck that resulted from the pandemic, and then on top of that, Russia invading Ukraine, which drove up the price of gasoline. McCullough says baby boomers retiring and the labor shortage is adding salt to the wound. All these things are hitting the firm's bottom line. Uh, energy prices, the supply chain bottleneck, and the labor shortages. And this is driving up the cost for the businesses, and they got to pass on these costs to the consumer. According to USA Today, gas, food, flights, and rent are the most impacted by inflation. While Southeast Texans could continue to pay more for these things, McCullough says we may see lower prices at the pump compared to other states thanks to our access to oil and gas. Plus, you know, we don't put as much state um, fuel, the state doesn't put as much of a tax on fuel as other states. Frankie Randazzo owns Madison's on Dallin and other restaurants around the area. He says rising fuel and food costs have forced him to adjust his hours at one restaurant, among other things. I'd rather take an item off of the menu than to charge an exorbitant amount. Randazzo says even during COVID, they didn't see price increases like they've seen recently. He says at his restaurant Panorama in Lake Charles, they've had to adjust their hours due to worker shortages. Five, six nights a week at this point because we don't have enough staff. And we don't wanna, we don't wanna burn them up during lunch and then not have a quality dinner. McCullough again says he's never seen anything like this and he believes there needs to be more competition in the U.S. market in order to drive down these high prices. Live in Beaumont, James Grant, 12 News.